All right. Hey, everybody. I'm going to use this opportunity here to give you guys instructions for today. So hopefully you've already taken the rock cycle quiz. If not, it's totally fine. Make sure you do your rock cycle virtual project um, using that virtual website. Um, Learner.org has the rock cycle information that um, teaches us all about the different types of rocks and how rocks change from one type to another. So make sure you have all four parts of that project done using that website uh, and take that quiz and then you're ready for natural disasters so that's what we're starting with today so i want to give you guys some instructions so you know what the goal is for today so let's take a look at that assignment so here's the assignment when you go to teams the team's assignment will have a word document and a pdf this is the pdf it has all of the instructions and then the word document actually has um, a spot for you to answer all of these questions. So I'll show you that Word document in a second. Um, but let me show you the assignment first. You can see pretty minimal instructions. It starts with thunderstorms, and there's YouTube video number one that you can see opens up here. There's a thunderstorm, that's what you should be looking for. And you use that to answer the first seven questions. So pretty straightforward, get the answers from the video. Same thing, we've got four questions here from video number two uh, from a They do a good job, so check that out. So that's thunderstorms. You got 11 questions, two videos. Pretty straightforward. Ask me if you need any help. Hurricanes is a little more complicated because usually we use a textbook for that. Hopefully you got a textbook on that last day before spring break. That will make this way easier. If not, it's OK. I've scanned in the textbook. It's pretty easy to read. Not, the, not as easy as if you had the actual book, but you can definitely read it. So you've got, again, 11 questions. And I didn't just put the whole book in there because, gosh, that's a lot of information. So what I did is I kind of clipped out the most important parts of the book. And I, you can see I drew arrows to where some answers are. So here's the answer to number one. Um, the answer to number two, I didn't even really like what the book said. So I typed out my own answer to number two here that you can read and, and use that for number two. Number three and four I underlined here. So I've given you some hints, some really nice hints about where to find the answers here as you look down. Again, here's the answer to another one of the questions. I highlighted a couple things that will be very helpful in your, um, you know, answering of these 11 questions. So yes, it's not quite as nice as using the, the videos. You know, the videos make things go a lot faster to find your answers to these questions. Um, but it's a good skill to have to be able to use the book, but I helped you out. I gave you some hints with arrows and underlines and highlights and things that'll show you where to find the answers to these questions. Um, the Hurricane Katrina portion here is, is this page. You've got a lot of information about Hurricane Katrina. And then at, um, where is the sketch? It's right here, the draw a picture. You can use this picture right here. So everything you need is right there. And you can just answer on paper is totally fine. Or if you want, you can use the answer sheet. That is also, you can find this attached to the assignment on Teams, same with the PDF. So the answer sheet here, you can see um, everybody gets their own personal answer sheet that's on their Teams assignment. And you can open that up in Teams or in Microsoft Word just like this and type your answer to the questions right there. Um, and I believe it saves automatically. I don't get to test that because I'm not a student, so it doesn't let me test those things. But I, I believe as you type your answers, it saves automatically. And then I can open your document from the assignment and see what you typed your answers and give you your points that way. So you can type on the document or you can just write your answers on a page and send me a picture. Totally fine as well. Um, but that's it for today. So 11 thunderstorm questions using the videos, 11 hurricane questions using the book. Please message me if you have questions, right? Message me right here, hit that chat function and send me a message if you have any questions. And that's it. Have a good day of science learning about natural disasters.